A family is in desperate need of answers and say they won't give up their search for the person who may have shot and killed one of their loved ones four years ago. Fox 21's Aisha Morales brings us their story in her special report, Justice for Stefan. Aisha. Joe Lawrence Stefan Wilson was a college student and loved his family more than anything in the world. His life was taken too soon, but no one seems to know why. And since that day, Stefan's family has made it their mission to not back down until his murder case is solved. Uh, we miss you so much. We love you. You know, we know you're in a better place right now, you know, and just rest assured, you know, whoever did this, you know, they got to answer to God, you know. A soldier dies one death, a coward dies a thousand. You're a soldier, Steph. Four long years and still no answers. The Lord is blessing me right now, oh, right now. The Lord is blessing me. Right now, oh, right now. October 1st, 2010, 32-year-old Stefan Wilson is found dead inside his apartment on Delmonico Drive in Colorado Springs. The night before, the police department received a noise complaint coming from that apartment. Officers were dispatched to that particular apartment. When they arrived on scene, there was obviously loud noise music coming from that apartment. Uh, they attempted contact. No one came to the door. At that point, the officers left, told management to uh, get a hold of him the next day if the noise continued. The noise didn't go away the next morning, so management let themselves in. They found a deceased male. The day, a blur for Stefan's mom. It was a, it was a beautiful day that day, but it was just such a sad day. It was a, just like I was having an out-of-body experience. She gets a call from his girlfriend at the time. And she said, oh, he's in there. In where? He's in his place and he's been shot in the head. Leslie and Stefan's older sister, Michelle, raced to the scene and something they didn't want to believe to be true was real. All the way there, I just kept praying that something was wrong and this was a bad joke. Maybe this was their way to get me to talk to him because I could be stubborn sometimes. That's all I kept thinking. Just like any other brother and sister, Stefan and Michelle had an argument. So Michelle planned to see him that day and make things right. We never fought. And so for it to be this devastating of a situation where I could not protect him, I couldn't give him advice, I couldn't be there, that just tore me up. The case is still open and has more questions than answers. There's only one major detail police have given the family. A couple of things they told me in the beginning of the case. One was that uh, this person knew my son. And even though the family think they know who killed their beloved Stefan, there's just not enough evidence for investigators to use. During the initial investigation, there wasn't a whole lot of cooperation with um, people who were close to Stefan. Um, they cooperated, but they were not necessarily telling us the truth. And uh, during those first hours, it's critical that we get um, accurate information. Stefan's family continue their fight every day for the young man they say had a lot going for him. And I kept thinking that someone was going to come out and say it was a mistake. He was in college and had plans for the future. He would always try to uplift you. He always had something nice to say. He always had a big smile. Leslie and the rest of the family want to know why. Just why did this happen and who did it? You meant so much to all of us, all of us. I know that it seems like it's just taken us a while to get over this and it has. They just want closure and justice for Stefan. It's the waiting and it's the fact that whoever did this is still walking around. Detectives at CSPD say they don't give up on cases like this. I don't believe it's a family member. I believe it's someone that was known to him. Uh, obviously he let him into his residence. Even more willing to not give up are the people closest to Stefan. We're going to hunt them down. We're going to keep going. We're going to pursue. We're going to put pressure. They're going to feel like they're in a pressure cooker until they come out. Michelle and Leslie will never forget that day and say they hold on to each other closer than ever before. So I just suggest that you take every opportunity to let your family members know how much you love them because you never know. You never know. The family and Colorado Springs police detectives ask anyone who may know something, anything at all, to just come forward, even if it's anonymous. Stefan's family understands finding the person who killed him won't bring him back. They just want closure and, of course, justice. Joe, Lauren.
All right, very good. Thank you. Yeah.